In this tutorial, I'll show you how to build a full package in net change mode for an optimized performance. Starting with release 929, the Enterprise One package build application enables system administrators to alter the full package build to only compile functions that are updated since the last active full package build. The enhanced full package build process uses the source files from the original active package as its base and only builds business functions, named event rules and tables that have changed since the last active package build. In addition, the server and client package builds run in parallel and thereby reduce the total amount of time to build full packages by as much as 85%. This enhancement enables you to take advantage of zero downtime package deployment during the full package build. The objectives of this tutorial are to assemble a full package, activate the assembled package in net change mode for an optimized build, initiate the full package build, and set the processing option to always run the full package build in net change mode. To initiate the full package build on the web client, first assemble the package, sign in to Enterprise One and select the package assembly application. On the work with packages form, click add. In the package assembly form, enter the package name, path code and a description for the new package. Select the build type as full package. Select the build business services checkbox if you are building business services packages for a business services server. Save the changes. Now in the work with packages form, activate the assembled package. Select define build from the row menu. In the package build revision form under the business function options tab. Select the Build Net Change Objects Only checkbox and save the changes. Next, in the Server Selection form, select one or more servers from the available servers. And in the Work with Package Build form here, click on the Active Status button of the package to change the status to Active. Select the package and click Submit Build to initiate the package build and then select the printer and submit. The build status changes to build submitted in the package build detail section. When the build is complete, the status changes to build completed successfully or to the appropriate error message. To verify the package build logs, you can access the deployment server log under the specified path code package under the server logs. The log specifies that the full package was built with only the net change objects. You can also review the client package build log here. To review the server package build and client package build reports, access them from the submitted job search program. To set the processing option to always run the full package build in net change mode for an optimized performance, access the processing options for the package build program. Here, set the value for net change for full package to 1 and submit. To learn more about building a full package in net change mode, visit us online at learnjde.com. Thanks for watching.